another useful and interesting data visualization technique uh, that we will discover uh, with the pivot tables is uh, going to be a heat map but this time based on a calendar it is going to look like a calendar that you hang on wall but to prepare it we need to uh, create additional columns in our data source uh, to reflect elements that we have on the calendar it's going to be the year column then the month column the week column and also the day of the week the year is the formula year coming from the order date month the same week is a week number coming from the order date with two as monday as a start day and the day of week we can have text coming from the order date with let's say three times d for day based on this data source we insert a pivot table refresh the data source to make the new fields appear in here and right now we can build the uh, pivot table structure in which we will analyze profit once again so the year will go on filters months and weeks will go on rows and the day of the week will land on columns shell. our layout of a pivot table already reminds a calendar table but we can turn off the grand totals and subtotals uh, and format the uh, numbers so that we see them uh, more clearly as regards the profit what is more we want to introduce the conditional formatting by using color scales this time this is going to be a combination of blue and red which is very uh, user friendly because even daltonist can distinguish then the numbers we set it up for the first cell where we see the values and then expand it to show it everywhere uh, we want to uh, what is more we can apply an even more complex technique which is select the cells for the pivot table right click uh, to format the cells and use the custom formatting trick by applying three semicolons to turn off the formatting uh, in general after that we can apply a filter just for a single year let's say 2014 and make sure we have exactly the same uh, width of columns uh, that we can see in this uh, pivot table right now you analyze the data as you would look at the wall calendar and you can easily see some patterns uh, where you have some profit and loss in your data what is more if you spot some interesting uh, element like for example high uh, loss that you can read always from the formula bar you can double left click it to drill down to details of the transactions that uh, happened at that point